hair texture and not sure what products to use, what kind of hairstyles to store your hair, you need to watch this first. you came back welcome if you are new here let me just introduce myself so my name is Claudine Collins and I am the director of naturesnaturalhair.com which I'll leave here of the different products that we house on our website if you are looking for lymph retention hair growth moisturization repair strengthening we got those products here for all you guys did we also mention that we do have a hair care service that you can sign up to so if you're experiencing hair loss thinning hair line balding those type of things then we can have a discussion through the link here and it is a virtual consultation service that we do offer with you guys also we are highly active on instagram we share our tips hair care solutions and we're all about educating you on how to grow healthy hair um, and it also entails eating the right nutrients and vitamins and minerals in order to grow healthy hair but we discuss all of that here on our instagram page at nature's natural hair if you stay to the end of this video i'll give you a bonus hair tip just for the sake of staying to the end because it just means so much to me at the end. So this video has been requested and it's talking about the type of products that you can use if you have 3C, 4C hair, styling creams to use, um, type of hairstyles to install to stop you from constantly manipulating your hair. And if this is you and something you wanna hear, then stay tuned to the next part of the video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys to the end. Bye for now. Right, so before you even consider buying any products, you really need to understand the makeup and the texture of your hair. So when I say texture, it's understanding the density of your hair, so whether your hair is thick or is it fine. Um, feel your hair as well, kind of look at the characteristics of your hair. Does your hair feel dry and brittle? then you probably would need to select products that um, infuses moisture or hydration into the hair. Does your hair feel over moisturized or too mushy and too soft? Then you probably want to select products with the protein in there. Um, is your hair porosity low or is it high or is it medium? Once you kind of establish all of those factors that kind of makes up the texture of your hair, then you'll understand what type of products to buy according to what your hair needs. For example, if you have really fine strands of hair, you're not going to use really heavy um, creams and products in your hair because if you do that, it's just going to weigh your hair down. It's going to create build up on the strands of your hair, which means you're going to have to keep washing your hair more often than required. So you want to use lightweight products that will impart with moisture into your hair and to keep your hair moisturized until you're ready to cleanse and clarify your hair. So doing that cycle of process again. However, if you have really thick strands of hair and density of your hair is really thick, then you're gonna to wanna to probably use a lot more heavier products in your hair to help to keep the strands of hair hydrated, moisturized for a longer period of time until your next cycle, which is your wash day. So, the products that I have here is mainly towards people that are looking for moisture and hydration in their hair because their hair feels dry and brittle. So you always want to shampoo your hair. The shampoo and deep conditioning is like the base, the foundation to having a really great moisturized and hydrated hairstyle that will last you for a certain period of time or until your next wash day. And the foundation always starts from your cleansing and your deep conditioning process. So here are a few shampoos that I can suggest, which is the My El Babasu Conditioning Shampoo. And this is designed for all textures of hair in my opinion and it's for dry and curly hair and then you've got the my l rice water collection this is the hydrating shampoo and this will help to infuse moisture into your hair of course there are many more shampoos that i can suggest but it's always good practice to follow up with a deep conditioner in your hair and we have the ivy wild intensive deep conditioner and this deep conditioner is very intense and it's designed to hydrate and restore your natural hair shine and hydration to the strands of your hair we've got my l babasu mint deep conditioner which is a protein and a moisturizing deep conditioner too so you've got the best of both worlds in this little dry hair 
And then you've got the My Earl Rice Water Clay Mask, which will um, impart with moisture and hydration. And when you use this mask, you do need to follow up with another um, deep conditioner because that's a hair mask and you'd need to follow up with a deep conditioner. And I would often suggest to use a moisturizing deep conditioner, which is the Share Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafua Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. And this will hydrate, it will provide moisture in your hair as well. So it's a great deep conditioner to use. You want to follow up with a leave-in conditioner because that will help to add more moisture into your hair or add moisture into your hair following up from your deep conditioning process. So we've got the Ivy Wild Leave-In Moisture Moisture Spray. It looks like this. And this spray is um, ideal for locking in moisture and reviving your tresses on a daily basis so you can use this every day. And then you've got the My L, sorry guys, I'm out of breath. <laughs> the My L Rice Water Moisturizing Milk. And this is designed for those that have more finer strands. So if you don't want any heavy leave-in conditions, you can probably opt for hair, hair milks because they're a lot more lighter on the strands of your hair. And you've got the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. And this is not really heavy as much as people will assume because of the black castor oil. However, this is quite a very good leave-in conditioner that's lightweight and can be used, in my opinion, on all textures of hair because it is super lightweight, not too weighing down. And it does hydrate your hair also. So next is your styling creams. And ones that I can suggest that will help with moisture, and this is designed for those that have thick, kinky, or dry hair, then you would, this is a great one to use as a, a, a styling cream. And the Ivy Wild Chebby Growth Cream is enriched with shea butter and castor oil. And this is great also if you have like really thick texture of hair and your hair is in need of like if it's damaged or dry then this is a good one to use because the moisture sealing combination of the natural cream of butters and oils are enriched with our chubby powder promoting the growth of your hair and helping your hair to retain length and then next we have like if you have more finer strands and not really thick dense hair then you can opt for the smoothie so we've got the jamaican black castor oil strength and restore smoothie with shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar and this is not really heavy on the strands of your hair but it really is quite thick in consistency and this is really good like these type of creams are really good if you want to install like twists or braids or have your hair in buns or any particular style where you're not constantly manipulating your hair all of the time these products are great for giving you that nice divine moisturized hydrated um definition or <laughs> that style i'm going to showcase to you guys some sample hairstyles that you can incorporate into your hair to help one um retain that moisture longer into the hair and two where you're not constantly manipulating your hair and taking your hair out and restyling it because that can cause mechanical damage or damage to the strands of your hair with the constant manipulation um, and you don't want to get in the habit of re-wetting your hair on a constant basis because, or on a daily basis, because that will, again, compromise the um, integrity of your hair or the strands of your hair and you don't want any more problems. You just kind of want to slightly rehydrate it midweek if you feel your hair really, really needs that. And you can use like a leave-in spray, like this one which um, you can use on a daily basis, it said, but my suggestion would be to use it only if you feel that your hair needs to be rehydrated and you want to lightly mist your hair so you're not saturating your hair with too much water. Um, so I hope you found this helpful and if there's any more videos that you want me to do, do, do leave me a comment in the box below. Like this video, do subscribe if you've come this far and I will see you guys in my next video. Hi sunshine, thank you for reaching this far. So this is the hair tip. So once every month I use a sulfate shampoo to help to cleanse my scalp of any buildup that a traditional sulfate free won't necessarily get rid of. So as we do live here in England, in London, we have hard water and hard water comes with lots of metals coming through the tap. So you've got, if it's chlorine, 
it's some type of metal or mineral that's going to deposit onto the strands of your hair that a sulfate free shampoo just doesn't have that powerful ingredient to get rid of so once every month i've used a sulfate shampoo if you don't um know which type of shampoo they have ones called cleating shampoos and those are designed specifically for those that swim in like your your hair is in chlorine and also if you have hard water like we do that's probably a shampoo that you you want to gravitate towards using um alternatively look for sulfate free shampoos that has this ingredient called edta and edta is an ingredient that has chelating agent properties in there and what it does is it helps to soften the water and it will help to remove things like minerals or any chemicals anything that deposits on the strands of your hair due to purely having hard water and purely just being actively swimming in chlorinated water so this edta has the properties that will help to remove all of those that traditional gentle cleanser sulfate free shampoo just won't have um so i hope this has been helpful for you guys let me know if you need any more help or you want me to touch on any other topics leave a comment below in the box and i'll see you guys in my next video where we'll be talking about ingredients to look for for those that have high porosity pro that high porosity hair <laughs> it's quite a mouthful high porosity hair for your shampoos and your deep conditioners see you guys in my next video Bye for now.